and you're watching National Lampoon's MMA. President of the UFC, and we are here at the Top 13 tryouts at Red Rock in Las Vegas. And there's a lot of dudes out there waiting to get in here. Here we go. Yo, everybody, get up right now. This is how we go do it. Yeah, come on. You ready for some action? I'ma give it to you. Brian O'Rourke with National Lampoon Taps MMA here with Trey. That just happened. How did it happen, Houston? How did it happen? Uh, went in, did the grappling, mitts, and did the interview. Pretty simple process. So you're out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you train with Militich Fighting Systems and Apollo's Karate there in Tulsa. Tell us what your thoughts are on the fact that uh, Pat Militich basically robbed Mikey Burnett of the first ever welterweight championship in the UFC by pulling his pants down repeatedly throughout the fight. Um, I didn't even know what MMA was at that point, so I can't really give an opinion on that. I've never seen the fight. I have no idea what you're talking about. Suck it, Pat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can just cut that. We're not really going to cut it. So uh, you, you were pretty dominant in your grappling round. You uh, did excellent in your kickboxing round. You got kind of waved off a little bit early by Joe Silva. Um, what were your expectations coming in to the interview process, into the tryout process, and you know what was the reality compared to what you thought was going to happen? Um, it was just a lot more relaxed than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a much more formal deal, and it just everyone was real down to earth and just kind of went with the flow. It wasn't wasn't anything that was high pressure or anything difficult. It was all real easy. Where's the after party? I don't know. I don't know much about Vegas. You tell me. Caesar's Palace. I'm there. Hangover. Dumb. Question from behind the mic. Question from behind the camera. Did before you, I saw your uh, grappling round, and uh, did the guy that you were grappling say something about your mother before it started? Because that's what my take was. Um, I don't know. It was in a different language. I couldn't understand it. I, I just went ahead and assumed it was something about my mother. So.